Howdy everyone, P Daddy here. Squad Foundations is back, which means we've got three brand new players to grind for from the era to Vissi, and that is worthy of the Whopper button. Tell the crew to push the Whopper button. I'm going to go over the best way, the fastest way, show you how you can combine this with some other challenges. But before we begin, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. So it's back. I was a little bit worried that we would not get any more of these. We've had Eredivisie Championship and MLS out for a while, but now they've brought back a second round. So which means if you complete both of these, you will have six free players from the Eredivisie that you can work to build your team on. So the new ones are, we have this 86 left wing. I believe his name would be pronounced Kulert, but you know, let me know if that's not right. But 86 left wing with some pretty good stats, pretty good dribbling. The other ones are a left back Max and a striker Danilo. So if you combine this with what we've gotten previously, which was this epic right wing Van Bergen, this uh, Baumgartel and the Gravenberch card, you're talking six pretty strong air to Vissi. There's also an SBC out there today for a fair card that looks really nice. Looks like a strong card. Combine that with Kleiber, with Robin, with Malin, and uh, Quincy Promise, and, and Anthony Future Stars. You can make a pretty special Eredivisie team at this stage of the game. There was also a level 15 center back that you could have taken. So really, it must be someone at EA that loves Eredivisie. But let's just go over it. Let's look at the challenges or the four objectives you have to complete. The first one is Find Finisher, which does score 12 finesse goals using Eredivisie players and managerial masterpiece. Now, managerial masterpiece is where you've had to do a lot of these. It's where you can only take a squad with a rating of 77 into a match. So I'll share with you the squad to use. But this one says you have to use 11 Eredivisie players. If you look at what we had before from the Eredivisie, it was only needing 7 Eredivisie players. So now we need to do 11. However, the amazing thing is, if you have not completed this full Eredivisie squad foundations, now I've completed it on my Objective to Glory account, on this, my main account, I haven't finished it, so this will be nice. You can do Eredivisie squad foundations, get these three players, and do Eredivisie squad foundations too at the same time, and get six Eredivisie players grinding at the exact same time. Plus, if you are still working on Rainier, Never mind, he's in objectives. I was still looking at milestones. If you are working on this Rainier card, which we only have nine days and 22 hours left, you can do a lot of Rainier in this as well. And I'll show you how you can do that. You can have him as a sub, bring him on, and then maybe be able to knock out some of that stuff for Rainier at the exact same time. Now, Fofana, you really can't go for him at the same time because a lot of his objectives, he has to be in the starting lineup at the same time. And we can't really do Benedetto at the same time because you need 11 league on players. However, I mentioned this previously. I'll just say something like this. If you want to have some league on players on the bench, you can knock out these four with the, while you're grinding for the Eredivisie, but you can't do this main objective at the same time as Benedetto. But I just wanted to point that out there that we can do both Air Divisi Squad Foundations 1 and Air Divisi Squad Foundations 2 plus knock out a lot of rainy at the same time. But this first objective, this one to me is a little bit frustrating. And I think the way I would approach it is just try to trade goals. And it's, that's what the first two here with this one as well. Assist six goals with crosses. Now what is nice, this isn't score 12 finesse goal, or score one finesse goal in 12 separate matches. This is just score 12 finesse goals. So you can message your opponent before the match, say, hey, do you just want to knock out finesse goals and crosses at the same time? You could just trade goals back and forth, send a cross in six different times, then get you know get a finesse goal for 12 different times, and then you'll be done with this. You'll get squad foundations max, which is a nice left back. You'll get this 75 plus rated rare player pack. Plus, at that same time, you would also complete this one for Graven Birch. So then you would have this other card because for Graven Birch from Squad Foundations 1, that scored 15 goals using Eredivisie players. So you would get Graven Birch, you would get max and you would get this 75 plus rated rare player from just one game trading goal so that's how i would recommend it now if your other opponent has already gotten it then you could just play out the match and try to you know get some of this other stuff done but that's what i think is going to be the easiest because getting six goals from crosses is not the most fun thing in the world 
And same thing with scoring 12 finesse goals. Now, to get a finesse goal, you hold in RB or R1, hold it in the entire time while you hit the shoot button. And it's certainly doable. It's just for me personally, I don't want to sit there and have to think about it. Okay, I need to make sure I hit the finesse goal. I just prefer playing. You know, if I've got a good goal, let me just take it. Not, okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm not in a good finesse position. Let me shift back this way to get into a better finesse shooting position. So I think that would be the easiest. Just knock those out. Then you'll get max. Then you'll get the 75 plus rated rare player pack. Then, if you have not already had them done, then you would also get Grave and Birch at the same time. So that would be epic. Now, the other two are a little more straightforward. It's play 18 matches. So this is our main grind. We have to play 18 matches and the live foot friendly with 11 Air Divisi players in your starting squad. And we have to win eight of them. So one thing that we will be possible to do once you have these two things knocked out. And like I said, if you can knock those out in one or two matches, that would be perfect. Just trading with it with your opponent. Then we could actually play golden goal for this stuff. So because it, it's a lot easier to play 18 golden goal matches than it is to play 18 90 minute matches. If you get what I'm saying. So winning 18, just say, for example, say if you can win half of your match. Matches. It's still easier to play 36 golden goal matches than it is to play 18 90 minute matches if you get what I'm saying. So I still think we could play golden goal, but we need to be respectful because some people may go for some other challenges. That's the only downside about so many things being a managerial masterpiece. Some people may be going for Benedetto. Some people may be going for even going for something else. So, you know, you can't always play golden goal, but I'm saying if you're going up against someone else, and you'll know that because they will go into the match with 11 Eredivisie players in your starting squad. So definitely we could maybe help people out and play Golden Goal on some of those. Even if we could do half of them, if we could make half of them Golden Goal, would make this challenge go by so much faster. But once you're done with this, once you've played 18 matches, you will also bring the Striker Danilo card out there, which looks fine. I do think they could have boosted these cards a little bit more, maybe made them a little bit more powerful, powerful because we're now in March. We're looking at some cards that can really dominate, and I'm not sure that they're going to be like the next level epic, but they're going to be fun cards to play with, both Danilo, Colert, um, the Max, all of those have good, usable pace, but I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, Danilo and Colert are both three-star, three-star, which isn't ideal. I mean, certainly usable with the pace and everything like that. I just, I think they could have boosted them just a hint more, just to make them a little bit more, like, wanting to bring them into your team, wanting to find a way to fit them in. But it is what it is, and plus we've had a lot of great Air Divisi stuff. But let me show you a squad I recommend. I've got a couple different ways to go about this, and I just want to show you what that is. First and foremost, the way I have this set up, I want to show you, this is a setup you can do. And what I want to show you, I always like to put this out there, especially for when you're having to do something with like an Eredivisie. I, I know so many of you guys love to use Lone Mbappe. Now, I used to have my own Mbappe. I actually, from our Icon Player Pick Pack, we got Kenny Dalgleish. I sold my gold Mbappe, so I no longer have Mbappe in the team. I discarded Lone Mbappe a long time ago because I was sick of seeing Lone Mbappe. But if you love using Lone Mbappe, I'd love to give you guys an option of how you can work them into the team. Plus, I'm showing you, this is after you play that first match where you trade all the goals. You will have Graven Birch in your team, and you will have Max in your team. So this is a team set up for once you get, hopefully, like I said, after that first or second match, I just wanted to show you a good setup for that with Graven Birch as a CM. And that's one of the weakest spots. When you start looking at Eredivisie options for like defensive midfielder or someone that can play like a two-way midfielder, it's pretty weak. Like we have this Martinez card here, but if you notice, he's got 69 pace, so his movement's not that great. So that is if you need a gold option. So I also wanted to point out, if you're looking for a gold team, you know, before just to get going, this is what I would recommend. So then you can have this Martinez, and then you can have Haps. And then you can still have Mbappe on the bench. Then you can actually even bump up this Kirk. So we have Kirk here. So if you want to look at right wing and concept players, let's go to the Air Divisi a second. Just want to point out this this is how if you want to get it set up before you have Graven Birch and Max. You can have Anthony out there, which is a nice card. The Ajax Anthony card. Put him out there. That's 78 rated. And you can also upgrade Sinistera to uh, David Neres. So let me put him out there just to show you. This would be the setup. I just want to point out all this stuff 
so you know how to get your team set up. So you see there, notice that the rating says 77 rating, 100 chemistry. The other thing I want to point out real quick, notice that I've, I have this, people ask this all the time, they will put together a team and then they'll be like, Pete, this team isn't 77 rated, it's 79 rated. You have to take advantage of your sub. So for managerial masterpiece, you're going to have three silver cards. So you want three 65 rated silvers as subs, and then you want low rated 75s. Now, I like to use usable 75s. Like, I could bring on Opara as a sub. I can bring on this Mojica as a sub. I can bring Deston as a sub. So I like to have usable 75 rated cards that I can use if I need be. Plus, even with Mbappe, this team is still 77. So this would be kind of the starting, starting team. We're going to have Dumfries and, and Kleiber as center backs. If you've got that boosted Kleiber, you maybe can work him in. I'll show you a couple other ways you can work some stuff in. But this is just kind of what I would recommend for the starting squad. If you don't have Mbappe or don't want to play with Mbappe, but say you have that Robin, you can put Robin out here, and then we would have to replace Mbappe with just another low-rated gold rare. So let me just get this set up here so I can show you guys. Just do a low-to-high gold. I'll put, let's see. Uh, I could put Carrick out there because Carrick's a good usable sub as well. But notice I'm putting Robin out here now. We're still 77 rating, 100 chemistry. So if you have that Robin or if you have Van Bergen, I think, I believe I tested this out. You can have Van Bergen and yeah, Van, if you wanted to complete that new fair SBC, if you want to play with him, if you want to play with Van Bergen and this new fair card, that's that's another possibility. So Aaron of Vissi has some pretty strong options that you can use now. So I just wanted to point out some of those different ways you could get it set up. But as far as going into the very first match, if you don't have any of those special cards, because I want to show you guys, you know, if you just picked up the game yesterday that you could make this team. Now, once you've completed that first challenge, then we're going to be able to get Graven Birch out there in the midfield. We're going to be able to put Max at left back. Plus, we can also have Mbappe as a sub. You can have Robin as a sub. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to change. We'd have to change these back. So let me fix that real quick again. You know, you do you do have to play with them a little bit. And the reason I have to change it, if you didn't see, our squad rating went up to 77. So let me just put this on right here. So we can put, oh, we already have him out here. Where is he? Okay, so right here. Okay, I already had him there. So we can put Kirk there and change David Neres to Sinistera. And that, that should take care of it. So then we put Sinistera there. And yeah, exactly. So this is what I'm recommending once you already have Graven Birch and Max. And then pretty much you don't really get another player until you finish the grind. So then you'll get that Danilo. Then you will get Baumgartel, the center back. Then you will get the, the Colerix. And then you will get the Van Bergen card. So that's just the way you can get it set up from there. And this is going to make a pretty strong squad. But let me go over the players that I'm using. We're going to be using Malin. He's going to be one of our strikers. And if you're playing a two-striker setup, I would do Malin and Quincy Promise. I think Quincy Promise is an absolute must from this challenge. He's got five-star skill moves, great pace, good dribbling, just good everything. Plays really well in game. Then you can play Kirk and um, Sinistera as kind of your runners, play them as your wingers. Then I actually play, it's probably not his best position, but I play Kudus as a two-way box-to-box midfielder. But you can also play Graven Birch in that position. That's probably his best position. But I'm personally going to be playing Graven Birch as more of my ball-winning CDM. You can see there his defending is not the best in the world, and Graven Birch is really more of a box-to-box -box midfielder, but I'm going to go more for attack. I think these challenges are more fun when you're just going all-out attack, and having Kudus and Graven Birch in the midfield is going to give you a lot of attack options. At the back, you know, you're going to have Max, you're going to have Dumfries, you're going to have Kleiber and Mazrahi. Kleiber is just an absolute epic center back. For any of you guys who've had his boosted version, that 86 rated Kleiber, absolute outstanding. He's just a monster at the back. Same with Dumfries. And then for goalkeepers, what I mainly look for is height. And this card right here, six foot six, 75 rated. So even if he's just a cardboard cutout, he's going to take up more cardboard than a, than a six foot tall keeper. So I really like that about him. But Anyways, I just wanted to go over that, let you know how you can work towards grinding out these challenges. Uh, let me go back to the squad real quick. And let's take a look at some of the cards we are working towards and just look at some of the possibilities you will have from the Air to Vissi once you have all of this stuff done. So like I mentioned, I know so many of you guys have had Robin and used him up, but let's go back into the Air to Vissi a second. Take a look at some of these cards we are grinding for. 
So Robin's there. If you got Future Stars Anthony, that card looks absolutely epic. I've not had a chance to play with him yet, but he looks amazing. Kleiber, if you completed his SBC earlier. Malin SBC. This Fear card just came out today. It looks like a monster. I think this Fear card could even be a really strong center back where he's six foot two, great physicality. So he could either be more like a Sissoko type CDM or Vieira type, you know, a little bit taller CDM, or he'd be an epic center back. But we're working towards this Coulard, and yeah, there we see he's three star, three star. He's got weird work rates where it's medium attacking, high defensive. So it's not like you see this card and you're like, oh my gosh, this card looks insane. He does have outside foot shot trait, which helps a little bit. But you look at his stats, 96 agility, 95 balance, 93 acceleration, 90 sprint speed. So he's got that great dribbling. You can maybe boost his pace a little bit if you want just to make him a pure out-and-out -out runner. 90 stamina is great. So, I mean, he's got, he looked, has the looks of a fun card. I'll be interested to see how he plays. I know when I first saw Van Bergen, this card right here, I did not think he was going to be, like, next level. But there's something about this Van Bergen card. He's just absolutely insane. Now, he does have high-low work rate. And this one has five-star weak foot, which is... Partly why I'm disappointed. I can accept three-star skill moves if you're giving me a five-star weak foot, but on that Kuleric card, you know, and that's the main prize for beating all of it. Why are you giving us three-star, three-star? You know, at least make it four-star, four-star. Give us something to work with. But if you have not played with this Van Bergen card, I do highly recommend completing him. He's epic even today. That's a super sub. This Danilo card is also three-star, three-star. Also kind of weird work rates with medium, low. I prefer high attacking work rates out of my striker, but certainly doesn't kill him or anything. As you can still see, great agility, great balance for a striker, good strength, great pace already that you could boost up a little bit. So it, it's still a nice card. I'm just saying there could have been maybe a little bit more. And then this Max card looks pretty strong. So we've got a pretty nice Max left back card. I would recommend a shadow on him would make his acceleration 95, sprint speed 98, boost up his defending. His physical isn't the best in the world, but so many of the left backs now don't have the greatest strength this year. So it's not going to really con completely kill the card or anything. I think Max could be a strong uh, left back. The one amazing thing about Max, because we from the previous era of we got this Baumgartel card, who was also from PSV and also German. So you've got a hyperlink between Max and Baumgartel, very similar to what Varane and Mindy do, where they're both, you know, Varane and Mindy are French, Real Madrid, La Liga, Baumgartel and Max are German, PSV, Eredivisie. So you've got that hyperlink that's going to allow you to link those up with, with something to get everything linked up nicely. But I do think there's some fun cards to grind for, especially as you, if you can go for multiple things at once. If you have not completed Eredivisie Foundations 1, now's the time. You can bring six brand new players into your team, and that would be a lot of fun. But anyways, boys, we're going to wrap it up for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below. Check the description. Join my Discord server and follow me on Twitter. But I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.